The British rulers who occupied some parts of India in the name of East India Company plotted to invade the whole country and started attacking and seized the local independent kingdoms one after the other. When they attempt to seize the Ramgarh kingdom in 1857, its queen Avantibai prepared a plan to resist their attacks. She sent a message along with a package of bangles to the neighboring rulers stating that if they love and honor their motherland they have to take up arms and join hands with her and fight the British army or wear the bangles and sit at their homes. Avantibai born on 16th August 1831 in a well to do landlord's family learnt all systems of warfare like horse riding archery and duel fights from a very young age and became an expert in planning strategies after marrying raja vikramaditya singh lodi she became the queen of ramgarh when her husband fell seriously ill and two sons were very young she took the reins and earned praises for good governance She could succeed in uniting the neighboring native rulers by forming an united front through her message mentioned earlier. They could assemble an army of 4000 soldiers in spite of resource shortages. Avantibai led them from the front and their first war was against the British at Kheri village near Mandla. The white army's plan of an easy victory turned turtle due to the excellent strategy of Avantibai. They wanted to take revenge and after some days attacked Ramgarh again. by doubling their number of their soldiers they set the ramgarh fort on fire and the queen had to escape to devigar forest but she did not keep quiet and planned to attack the general gladington's barracks through guerrilla warfare in the last battle the large british army surrounded the queen and her soldiers on learning that she would be taken into custody avantibai committed suicide with her dagger on 20th march 1858 The Gondi tribes folklore even today sing in the praise of the far-sighted Avantibai.